I'd like to show you one of my favorite features in the Acumatica Report Designer program, and that feature is Report Versions. Now you'll notice here I am uh, looking at the Vendor Summary Report up here, and if you click on the Report Versions tab, you'll notice that it's empty. That's because there have not been any custom versions added for this report. And if I go ahead and run the report, we'll just see the report as normal. Now with Report Versions, Report versions actually allow you to save every change that you make to a report. With other report writers, you have to keep a copy of each definition file in your desktop or in some central location, and hopefully you remember to save a copy every time you make a change. And then maybe you put the date at the end of the file or something to kind of help you keep track of the reports. And if you want to roll back to a prior version, you have to go through the process of installing that previous report version and then roll it back to the current version when you're done. With Acumatica Report Designer, it does all of that for you. So if I were to go here and edit this report and then let's open it up in the Acumatica Report Designer What I'm going to do first is I'll go ahead and save it without making any changes. And the key is to do versioning, check this save as new version box. And then you get to type in some description about that version. Since I didn't make any changes and this is the out of the box report because there's no version history on it, I'll just say initial version. So I click OK. Now I'll go back into Acumatica, refresh the screen. And now if I come over to report versions, there's my initial version, version one. And you can see it's marked as active and you can see when that version was created, the date. And now let's go back and let's go ahead and add some change to this report. So I'll just put a text box on here and maybe I'll say just hello. Okay, so I got a new field called hello. I'll go ahead and save it. I'll keep that save as new version checked and then I'll say what I did in this version. Added the hello field. I'll go back into Acumatica and refresh the screen. And now you can see there's my version 2 with the description and it automatically marked my latest version as active. So now when I run this report, the active version is the latest version and there you can see my hello field. Now the really nice thing about versions is as I mentioned before, Acumatica actually stores the report definition itself for every version, not just the information about it, like the date it was created and the description. It stores the whole thing. So without having to reinstall a report file, I can very easily switch to a prior version. So my current version has hello right here, but if I come back here, I can just simply activate a prior version. Takes a second there. Now that's the active version. I want to hit run report. Now it's running the version without the hello uh, box on the top there. Now the other nice thing is when I'm in my Acumatica report designer program, I'll switch back to that. If I were to open this report again, I'm not changing anything here, but since the previous version is active. Now when I open the report, you'll see it opens the previous version and we can tell because the hello field is missing. So I can actually open a previous version, the whole report definition file, and then make some different changes, save it back in as a new version. Also I have the ability in the application to switch between which versions I'm actually running as the active version, which version actually gets generated when someone runs the report. So pretty nice. I really like the versioning feature. I'm not, maybe we'll just do one more thing here. I'll come back in and make this the active version again. I can either check the box or highlight the field and click activate. I'll run it again just to prove that it didn't lose my latest version. There's the hello and then I can even go back in here now that that's active. I can open it again and it's going to open the version that has hello. So great feature. It's especially helpful three months down the road, six months down the road, two years down the road, when it becomes very difficult to remember all the changes that you've made to your reports.